Welcome back to Rome Boys. On this episode, we got Father Tim in the house. Woo. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Now, before I mispronounce your name, your last <laughs> name, it really is spelled Hater. Uh, but that's not how you say it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Father Hater doesn't sound that too doesn't good. Sound yeah, that's good. what I said before you got so, here. I'm like, we better call him Father Tim. <laughs> yeah. But it's uh, not how you say it. Hider. 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 Say. Hider. How high are you? Hi, how are you? Yeah. Hider. It's spelled H A Y T E R. And so just the, the A is silent. Okay. So it's it's right. hider. It's hider. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. First glance is like, dude, that's Father Hater. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that, what that most just people. doesn't work. <laughs> no. uh, Father Hater. This can't happen. <laughs> yeah, my mm. mom. She used to always when she would introduce herself. She's a teacher. She's taught for many years. Sure. Seventh and eighth grade science oh. there in Fort Stockton, <laughs> and she would introduce herself as you know. Mrs. Hider, <laughs> don't make me be a hater. Ah. Oh. So. Good one. I like that. That, that yeah. would kind of stick. Yeah, sure, sure, yes. sure. I like the hand motions there. Yeah. Too. Oh yeah. That gets the point <laughs> a good across. Teacher People can there. remember that. Oh, Don't yeah. make me a hater. I like it. <laughs> Not to jump into things, but it seems like your charism is teaching. So did your mom okay. pass it on to you, or um, like you like to teach? I, th- I huh. feel. Yeah. yeah interesting. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Th- there's um, there's a lot of teachers in my family. Okay. Um, in fact, my dad that his degree. Uh, would allow him to teach, but he, mm-hmm. he went back to the, to the ranch. Mm-hmm. Um, and then his mom was a teacher. Mm. Uh, his twin sister was a teacher all the way through retirement. My mom's sister was a teacher. My sister's a teacher. Uh, it's all yeah, coming so there's, clear there's a, now. There's a, there's, a, there's a bunch of teachers in the family. Sure. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. That is cool. That is yeah. Cool. That's awesome. Praise God. So w- one of the questions we like to ask Asks. Boy's got a mouth like a cannon, always shooting it off. Ask priests is uh, what would you like your parish to know more about you to help you mm. know just to help them out to, that way they can help you. What you know, would I like my parish? Everyone to know yeah. more about to know. Me. <laughs> yeah, that you would like them future to know. parishes, so like they huh, know this going to know in. more about me. Yeah, just where you know they huh. can help you where they need to help you out at or. Huh. Give you a little grace where you might need some yeah. grace. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Huh? You don't that's have to come. You don't have to. I should have prepared him for that one. No, <laughs> that dropped in his I was going to ask yeah. him where he was born and stuff. That, that's that's a good question. No, so. I want the meat. I want the meat. <laughs> <laughs> Here is one thing about me. Okay, is it takes me time to process things. Mm. Okay. okay, so. Um, I can edit out I'm any not pauses. One, well, <laughs> you'll have a lot of pauses with me, and I've noticed that throws people off. Ain't nobody got time for that. Hmm. My pauses do. Okay, but Godspeed, speed, right? That's do, actually good. Well, to I don't slow know. Slow us I, down. To I naturally like to take my time hmm. in thinking through stuff. Yeah, and, sure. And so uh, that that does. That's one thing that. It would probably be helpful for people to realize that hey, he's just gonna take his time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but he's gonna give a good answer. Why can't you take a guess? Well, not for another two hours. You can't take a guess for another two hours. Yeah. <laughs> but even but, if you go to McDonald's, it's gonna be like that too. Like, or is this like something a little bit more in depth? I'm I'm kind of like that with everything. Okay. I don't. Okay. I, 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 I want to make I go the best my own choice. Prudence, right? Is that what we're? Yeah. <laughs> you could call it that. <laughs> I, trying. <laughs> I found that I I'm better off going at my own pace mm. rather than when I try to go too fast with mm. things. Sure. It doesn't go well. Well, I've seen a lot of big crashes at Talladega, but this is the longest one I've ever seen. Let's take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back. Okay. So I get that. I, I just kind of kind of go at my own pace, and um, I should probably take my time more often. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I think part of that, part of that too, is is just kind of how I grew up of not getting in a hurry. My dad, that's one thing he really would stress with us is not to ever get in a hurry. That that's mm. how accidents yeah. happen. Okay, and um, uh, that's it's part of it. But yeah, just you know, if I'm 
pause or I'm going slow. That's just that's just how just your nature. How, how, you, do, roll. how it rolls. That's, that's yeah. how you roll. Yeah, my grandpa so used that, to say, you know, that's it, one thing. or his dad used to say, it never cost any more time or any more money to do it the right way. Mm. Uh, so yeah. get it done right. Of course, he was always time. the one that always did it. Like, let's do it. Hurry up and let's do it. Put some duct tape on it and go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, okay. Yeah. Favorite well, food? Now be careful. If you say like apple pie, you might have oh, thirty yeah. of those show I up. So <laughs> right, that's already the case. Man. Jerky, here. very generous. You get lots of jerky. No, I'm just kidding. I uh, I like food in general. <laughs> okay, sure. And and so favorite food. Well, I'll, I'll tell you my most recent favorite food. Okay, okay. I, I went home yesterday. Yeah. And my mom uh, made fried steak. Ah. and mashed potatoes and gravy and oh, fried yeah. squash and fried okra Can't out of the that. garden. And uh, that was pretty darn good. Sure. <laughs> sure. Mama's home cooking. Was, Come on. You can't beat but, Mama. And uh, what are we having for dessert? Squirrel. Okay. Uh. With all due respect to all other mamas, <laughs> my mama's home cooking is just a little notch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Is that why you go home each week? Uh, <laughs> she's she's a really good cook. Really oh, good. good cook. Is that a requirement and to the bishop? Like wherever you're at in the diocese, you got to be at least driving distance from Mama's. Uh, well, house? That's, <laughs> that's, that's, I keep asking them that, but then they keep sending me further What's away. What's the deal? So I'm, saying, yeah, I'd like I'm still going to drive home. home to see Mama. <laughs> yeah. 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 So that's, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So whatever she's cooking, that's probably the best answer to that. Okay. Oh, wow. Man, you just yeah. got brownie points. I love Mama. That's no, like, I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the truth. The anybody, that, truth. anybody that knows her or that is eaten yeah. at our house They'll will attest to that. that one. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. cool. That's great. Yeah. Mama's home cooking. Yep. Yeah. So you, you won't be getting that on your doorstep from anybody. Else. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, they're not going to be dropping there, there are a lot of good cooks <laughs> in the neighborhood, though. Oh, sure. Mexican food, American food, Italian food, Both. Chinese food, all of the above. You just like food. Oh, as far as those, you didn't mention one that I don't like. Okay. Okay. Seriously. Um, Indian food, Vietnamese I, I, food. Actually, I like. I, uh, I do like both of those too. Indian's okay. pretty spicy. I like yeah, yeah. spicy. Okay. Um, Vietnamese. Yep. I was in Houston and had a lot of really good Vietnamese food. Mm-hmm. Okay. In fact, one of my classmates was Vietnamese, and yeah. th- he would take us uh, home with him. And yeah. I mean, lots of good food. So. Nice. Yeah. You hadn't, you hadn't mentioned a category Man. yet. Okay. All right. <laughs> Easy to please. I, uh, That's good. I, I do like food. In general, ah, who doesn't? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Man, so. <laughs> I mean, I know some picky eaters. Wouldn't, but man, they still wouldn't like be food. here still if we didn't. Exactly, <laughs> <laughs> this is true. So, man, and man. hobbies, things you like to do in your spare time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, anything outside? Uh, anything outside? Hmm. M- most of my spare time is, you know. So, on on my day off, what I'll do with if it with it is, uh, you know spend at the at, at the ranch heading mm-hmm. home yeah. where i grew up mm-hmm. yeah um like what's today today is today tuesday. Tuesday. today tuesday. is tuesday yes it was yesterday <laughs> um <laughs> like yesterday yesterday was great as far as uh even though it was like 108 <laughs> um oh, God. just it's checked water drove drove around uh, checked mm-hmm. water checked on the cattle and uh that was really enjoyable so mm. that's anything outside or with livestock is That'd be my hobby category, nice. I guess. Okay. Nice. I, so, I used to like running, but I hadn't run a lot lately. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any reason for that? Just too busy? Just don't sound... Ain't nobody got time for that. It's too well, hot well, right now, but... <laughs> it's oh. too busy, but, I mean, just like anything, there's... I need to make the time for it, but yeah. I just hadn't. So. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. don't know. You, if you see me running, you better, you better turn around and run, too, because there's probably a bear or something yeah. chasing, so... Yeah. No, better be running the other direction. <laughs> so, okay... So you mentioned you grew up on a ranch. Talked about mm-hmm. going home to the ranch. So I guess mm-hmm. you did the horse thing. You, you rode yeah. a lot, or yeah. you, got, so you got your cowboy boots on. So I'm right. Sure. So so <laughs> where where we live, where where Fort I grew Stockton, up, yeah. is 40, 40 miles uh, west southwest of Fort Stockton. Okay. And so it's there's enough enough places there in the mountains and and with draws and brush to where you, you have to have horses. Sure. Um and. Uh, They've my family's been there, my dad's family since 1910. Wow! And wow. Um, yeah, heritage. horses is is a big part of yeah. of of what we do. Um, so I've yeah I've I've been riding from the beginning. 
Any so. wild stories? Like, I mean, you're out uh, there in the middle of nowhere, and you're talking about uh, rough countries. There's like mountain lions or anything like that. Any yeah, kind of stories I mean, on that? Uh, uh, so, <laughs> wild <laughs> stories in general. I'm sure there's there's plenty of things, but mountain lion. The, uh, we do. I do have one mountain lion story. I guess is mm-hmm. that right? We uh, so. Well, there's a few mountain lion stories, but this is the most notable one. The um, where where I grew up, um, it's it, it's down ten miles of dirt road. Okay, right. And so no no neighbors, no nothing. Sure. Okay. And on the we sleep we would sleep on the porch growing up. Say what? In fact, slept right? on the porch. Yeah, up until well, for me probably. Pretty well all the way through school. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You do like the outdoors. And <laughs> we even have tarps, you know, for in the winter. Yeah. Um, oh, even we, in the winter, you'd sleep on the porch. Yeah. I haven't slept in eight days. Yeah, That's crazy. We did. That's yeah. fun. We did. And, and you wanted so this to. this was. <laughs> yeah. You, know, you had a bed yeah. inside. And just, right. just, I mean, I can understand <laughs> in the summer. It's probably yeah. like. Yeah. And it's not a screened nice. in porch either. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. fun. That's cool. And, okay, you painted a good picture. Okay. So. Let's see. This would have been, I think it was, it was between my junior and senior year in high school. It was in the summer. Okay. And there had been a lion. So we we mainly have cattle, but I've I, um, I've always had some goats. My mom grew up uh, more in the mountains, and they had quite they had they had more sheep and goats than what what we grew up with. Sure. But uh, for her side of the family gave us some goats when okay. we were kids and my siblings never really took to the goat thing. So I always, I was the youngest. I ended up taking care of the goats and, uh, ended up showing goats, raising and selling show goats. And I, I did that well into like my late twenties probably. Hmm. But, uh, there had been a lion that had come up and the, uh, there, there was a guy working for us at the time. He was down at the barn and, um, you know, we've got like a, a little house there in the barn. Mm-hmm. And so he, um, he could hear the dogs barking and they were, they weren't letting up. Anyway, he went and, and went towards the goat pen, which is, I don't know, a good quarter of a mile from where he was and half a mile from where we are at the house. And there uh, was a lion trying to get in the goat pen. Ooh, that darn cat. <laughs> okay. Dogs were not having it. <laughs> yeah, right, right, and um, but they weren't they weren't bothering him. Obviously, no. the dogs are, are so they're just trying not to get eaten. <laughs> right, right. So he uh, goes up uh, to the house. He gets a a, <laughs> a twenty two. Oh out of no, <laughs> that is not going to put down a line. <laughs> I don't think so. Anyway, long story short, he <laughs> missed the lion and. Lion trots off. Well, so then we're 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 starting to try to do things over the next few days to figure sure. out how to catch this lion, and and we you know set a a, a trap with you know with a goat in it, and oh, man. Um, anyhow we're trying to catch this lion. Well, it was in the middle of the night, and so sleeping on the porch. Uh huh. Parents and brother were on the porch. Okay, <laughs> I was inside that night. Oh, okay. Okay. And my the inside my bedroom was, um, and I don't know why I was inside. We usually were all on the porch, but for some reason I was inside, and the the gun case is right next to my door. Hmm. Okay. So I hear my my brother and dad banging around. My brother turns on the light. They're telling me to get up. The lion's here. It's like yeah, whatever. Y'all will take care of it. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I. I, I'm they're, they're better shots than me <laughs> by a long ways, <laughs> by a long shot. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. y- y'all got it. You don't yeah. need me. So, <laughs> uh, but then after that, I'm kind of like, uh, then I couldn't go back to sleep. And I, it was like drill well, started kicking yeah, in. Yeah, well, what in the world? So I, I, I got up. Yeah. And uh, by that point, Everything had already happened. See, when they came inside, um, my uh, my mom had, and she's 
barefoot <laughs> with the flashlight, follow the line over the hill because we live kind of up on on a on a on a hill there. And um, the the dogs had you know gone after him down down into the the creek dry creek bed. Well, then I get the rest of the story. Sure. Okay, that uh, my mom the the one of the dogs had come over the top of their bed. Oh. And my sure. mom raised up. And so the the foot of their bed is like three feet from the uh, edge of the porch. <laughs> well, she looks up, and this this lion is standing there looking at him. Just follow me wherever I go. Well, he's just looking at you. And her feet are the lion. Her feet were on the the edge on of the, the porch. Oh my god! Gosh. And my mom <laughs> wakes my dad up. Okay, and. He gets up and he doesn't even hesitate, man. He goes in to get the gun and just leaves my mom there. <laughs> so, but if you knew my mom, you know she'd be fine. No lion, uh, no lion's got a chance on her. So, <laughs> so uh, oh, he go, he runs inside. Brothers goes inside, and anyway, while they're getting getting a gun, the lion trots off. Sure. And so then. She has a, a, a cousin, a first cousin, that's a lion hunter. Oh, okay. Uh, they're west of Balmoray, on the other side of Balmoray, where my mom grew up. Um, and we call him, and he makes yeah, his way. This is serious now. The lion's coming uh, to the house. <laughs> Ricky, control your heart rate. Uh, yeah. yeah. So he, he came. I mean, that it, yeah. this is like one in the morning. Okay. Wow. And he was on his way back from a horse sale in El Paso. Oh, him and his goodness. his daughter, mm, who's yeah. around the same age as me and my brother. And uh anyway, they when they got there, they they went ahead and came on. And uh, his he brings his dogs. Yeah. They're hunting for the lion and they <laughs> it, it was taking forever. Mm, right? Yeah, like yeah. we we're talking like an hour or so and no no lion, no lion, right. no lion. Well, anyway, I've given up. I've gone inside. I'm uh, I'm so, yeah, I'm going back to sleep. Well, then everybody's all of a sudden excited. And uh, the dogs had found the, the scent picked of the line. The they they picked up. Yeah, so I go outside, and it's my mom, my dad, my brother. Who's, he's a few years older than me. And then... Uh, our cousin, she's in between him and me, age wise, and then my my mom's uh, my mom's cousin, the lion hunter. Hmm. So we when 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 we get down there, he um, he gets all his stuff together, you know. And uh, anyway, just a little side note, because if if my parents see this, they're gonna say, "Why didn't you include that part?" That's the funniest <laughs> part. <laughs> anyway, uh, he. He's got the. He's getting everything together, and he has this gun. And he just points at me and pulls the trigger. I'll make you famous. Oh crap! What anyway, the? Yeah. It, it was. Uh, you know, he he's putting together this. He was gonna uh, tranquilize this uh. one. Okay. So <laughs> and, tranquilizer gun. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we get everything together, and he's telling us, "Okay, like who who's gonna who's gonna stay with me because I'm gonna be going at a pretty good pace." And you know, everybody's pointing at me because I I ran I ran cross country, <laughs> and I was you know, seventeen. Yeah. So anyhow, I I went with him. You're carrying the trank gun. Yeah. yeah. So I went with him, and and everybody else fell behind, and and we we're going towards these dogs because they were they were moving. Yeah. Uh so. We catch up to the lion, and in a sprint, he's, do what? In a sprint, you're running pretty, pretty much on feet. Yeah. And y'all caught pretty, up to the lion. Dang. Yeah, well, these dogs. Here's the thing: the dogs. Oh, dogs kind of th- there's down. four dogs, and they're all around this lion. All oh, over this they line. got it cornered. And that okay. lion doesn't have it. not necessarily cornered. Like there were times there where he said, "Okay, she's moving," or "Okay, um, you know they've they've got her," yeah. but they're all going at her, and she's just trying to fight them off because hmm. they're they're trying to get her. Yeah, All yeah, four yeah. of them, yeah, and yeah. and she's trying to fight them off. Well, we get there. Well, then he's like, okay, you know, he goes up there and and he 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 shoots her in the hip. Well, he 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 shoots her, and it doesn't. It it she's kind of like drunk, but she's not. Yeah, she's not falling yeah. down. Yeah, 
She said, okay, we're going to have to get closer. Hmm. (laughs) And I'm going to have to give her a shot. (laughs) Oh, my. And I need you to hold the light and and be like right here. And I'm going. No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. 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 What in the world? I should say asleep. <laughs> this is crazy. And it was it, it was crazy. Uh-huh. And anyhow, say so, that again. Yeah. So <laughs> I hold the light for him and he gives her a shot and the dogs have her head like he trusted the dogs. Oh so, my goodness. Anyway, yeah, that's the crazy lion story. Wow. Yeah. wow. That's pretty wild. wild. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. I had to go then everybody gets there and then somebody's gotta go back, you know, a mile and a half in the dark. And get and, a truck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we can load this Yay. thing up anyway. <laughs> wow. yeah, but that was, How big was she? Was that? She she was an adult uh, female lion, but she was pretty poor. That's why she had oh, come okay. up to the house. She was hungry. Uh, she was very hungry. Lay off me! I'm starving. <laughs> okay. She was hungry. She was she was she was poor. She was weak, which is part of why he was comfortable. You know, yeah, going up close that's why he thought he, she, she ain't strong enough to fight me off. Right. And then she's half drunk. Like so, his, you know. his thinking was she had just, you know, weaned her cubs and was just trying to survive at that point. So, mm-hmm. wow. And it was, it was very, during that time frame was a very dry period. Yeah. Uh, so. Sounds familiar. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, what an eerie feeling to just kind of, for your mom just to wake up yeah, yeah. and look Whoa. out. Oh, <laughs> uh, there's a line right there. Uh, yeah. That's too close. Right I'm going to go sleep inside. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You're on your own. Oh, yeah. Man. That's pretty so, fun. That's a good story. <laughs> so what drew you to the priesthood? What drew me to yeah, the priesthood? What, what, is this like a calling that you've always had? or was No, this definitely not that. Yeah. Well, I guess the first should ask, did you grow up Catholic? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yes. So I was, you know, my, my, my mom is Catholic and my dad is not. He's okay. Presbyterian. Okay. Okay. So uh, my mom had us baptized. Uh as as babies, Catholic, and and we all receive first communion, and then for me, like I said, I'm I'm the youngest of of four. Okay. okay, my sister is the oldest; she's twelve years older. I have a brother ten years older, and then I have a brother three years, like three and a half years older, four years in school, and and then me. And by the time I came along, it, it kind of waxed and waned at different points as far as going to going to church again. We lived 40 I'd miles say, from yeah. town. Okay, yeah. so we did have a house in town for school nights. Um, oh, hmm. I had a little house in town for school nights, but summers, holidays, weekends were completely at the ranch. My dad hmm. was always at the ranch. He was never he never stayed at the house in town. Wow. Well, occasionally, but um, so let's see. Where was yeah. I going with that? Uh, well, just coming, well, just coming to the priesthood. Ah, you know, uh, yeah, grew yeah. Up Catholic. Okay, right, right, right. So just kind of mixed household. Yeah, yeah segregated. So you were asking me if I grew up Catholic or not. Yeah. That's what it was. Mixed mm-hmm. household. Yeah. Right. So uh, we didn't really. After I received first communion, and even really kind of before that, we didn't go to church much. And when we did, we'd go to mass at nine forty-five, and then go to church with my dad at eleven. Okay. Oh, my mom okay. would take us both places, and he would just he would meet us. What did you think about that, that when you were younger? Like, As a kid, I didn't know any different. I mean, okay. that's just that was just the so way it was. Did you like one better than the other, or just kind of? Um, I don't know. Uh, the grape juice at the Presbyterian was a little colder yeah. than the wine at Mass. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I have more. I actually have more vivid memories as a kid at the Presbyterian okay. Church because of things that I remember, but um, we really didn't go enough either yeah. place. Okay. To to even know. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, we would maybe go Christmas, Easter. Okay. Um, and that was until. Let's see. That. Well, that that would be the case until I was a freshman in high school. Okay. And the other thing is, after after preparation for for First Holy Communion, after that, I didn't go to to CCD third, fourth, or fifth grade. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Okay. Okay. Um, I sixth grade. I went because my brother at that time was a sophomore, and he was being confirmed. Okay. Mm. Right. Okay. <clears throat> and um, so then, uh, let's see, going forward a little bit. And by the way, then, and, and that was in middle school. I can remember specifically 
but I, I this was more like seventh or eighth grade. Um, like my first, the first math. Well, actually, this would be the second math experience that I could actually remember something. The first would have been we were I don't know what age I was probably fourth fifth grade. We happened to go to mass one weekend, and. I remember my mom was adamant that the two of us, my brother and I, went to communion. But she, mm. you know, she stayed back. She hadn't been going to mass, um, mm. and um, that just that just hit me. That mm. why was that so important to her? Mm. You know? Yeah, it yeah. was obviously very important to her. And also, why wasn't she receiving communion? Right. Like I remember those two th- thinking those two things. And then the next memorable moment, as far as mass goes, was when I was in middle school. Um, Father David Herrera had just moved to Fort Stockton, and this was Ash Wednesday. It was so Wednesday, you know, during CCD, and they had us go. We had to come to CCD, but then from there they took us. We went to the Civic Center. Mass was at the Civic Center oh. because yeah, Catholics uh, come on Ash it, Wednesday, right? Because yeah. he knew it was going to be really full, mm-hmm. and. So I can remember specifically there in the Civic Center, which is a big space in yeah, Fort Stockton. I would think. Yeah. It, it's a very big space there, a huge Civic Center. And I can remember kneeling on that concrete floor and um, just uh, keep in mind right before this, Father David, he, he preached on the Eucharist often. Hmm. And so he, you know, spoke about the Eucharist in his homily. Mm, okay. And I can remember, you know, him holding up um, mm. the, the body of Christ and just, it, it hit me like a ton of bricks. Mm. Like, like I was, the, uh, there were tears. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and I just, I was like, wow, this is real. Like, there's yeah. it's 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 actually like what in the world is going on mm, sure you know and and then just just anyway so th- that was um kind of where i started to have questions and things things started you know kind of came alive for me a little bit but then when when the rubber really met the road was when my mom asked me when i was you know going into like ninth or tenth grade i guess do you want to be confirmed? Because hmm. see, my my sister, my oldest brother, they they weren't confirmed, and then the other brother was kind of forced to be confirmed, and you know, oh. hadn't been back in the church since. You know, oh, <laughs> so, so, so she's that like, did, well, yeah. 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 you know, I forced him to do it, and now that didn't turn it, out it didn't go good. well. Yeah. And so she asked me, and I was like, I didn't even know what. I mean, what is being confirmed why would i get confirmed like, what is that mm-hmm. and she's like well so you can get married in the church if you want to later uh, <laughs> that, was, that was her that was her yes. understanding you yeah, know that was that was her understanding sure. and um so and i didn't know i didn't even know i was like well you know um am, am i catholic am i am i presbyterian I, I had also been a couple times with some of my friends that were a baptist and and uh I'd been to the Methodist Church and the Church of Christ. So, sure, yeah. you've had experience, um, yeah, right, right, all aspects. It, and so we we had friends that were all, all all of those, and and I, you know, I just I didn't know, and I didn't know what being confirmed was, and um. Anyway, I uh, one thing though that's really really key to all of this is, as I'm going through middle school and then early high school, was definitely a time for me of. There were there were definitely heavy moments there of, you know, why am I even alive? What's the mm-hmm. point of it? Mm-hmm. Is there a God? Is He real? Yeah. Yeah. Um, who am I? What What am I doing here? What's my purpose in life? Answer. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Yeah. And just number of 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 things that we face as people that can be hardships, whether you know in family or yourself, you know just learning how to deal with people and relationships, at, at, you know, growing up. Mm-hmm. And so I, um, with, with, with that, I knew that I needed something. Okay. I, yeah. I knew if there was a God, I needed him. Mm-hmm. And, um, so I thought, okay, why not? I'll, I'll go, I'll, I'll at least check it out as sure. far as confirmation goes. So, 
So I did, and one of the things that they 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 required us to go to mass, mm. and yeah, um, seems pretty for, important for yeah. me. <laughs> I, I, one thing that um, my parents had instilled in, in in us, especially my mom, is if you're gonna do something, yeah. by golly, you're you're gonna do it. If they're yeah. asking you to do something, right, do it. Okay, okay. do it, mm-hmm. do it. Yeah. Um. So give it your all. Right. Yeah, don't just right. So, uh, okay, you know, they're asking me to go to Mass. It must be important, you know, to them. So, okay. Well, that's where things really kind of started is, is you know, going to Mass. And then my mom started coming with me. Mm-hmm. Um, so she started going back to Mass. Um, and Father David was the priest in Fort Stockton at that time. And he's he's very... He's he's a good homilist, mm. and he's very captivating, and he he meets you where you are, mm. and very practical, and really he really he really hits home. So uh, that that and then slowly, just I was I was learning the mass. Keep mm. this in mind, yeah. you know, yeah. and learning how to pray, mm. reading scripture, you know, for the first sure. time at at mass. Yeah, and so th- things kind of started connecting a little bit for me. And that just it just grew from there. It just grew in. So you think Father David was kind of your uh, oh. foot in the door to priesthood? You know, just his. Well, example? looking back, looking back, certainly. Yeah. Looking foot back, the door in the I, faith, let alone. Yes, well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Both, both, and yes, a, like, amen to that. Yeah. Without him, what if he wasn't there? Like, what if somebody else was there? Oh my goodness! Like, well, praise God, he was. Y- you but, know, <laughs> right? I mean, the Lord just the Lord knows what He's doing, and and sure. yeah. anyway. Right. We so question certainly, it, but, you know. certainly. But how many priests say like the, the very, emphasis on the Eucharist? There, mm-hmm. you said. Right. And right. He's. A, I don't hear that very much from a lot yeah. of priests. That that is True. driven home. That right. emphasis on the Eucharist. So praise yeah. God. And 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 he, he he does drive that home. And just like the way he prays at Mass, it's a prayer. You know. I mean, it, there were just so many things that it definitely drew me in. But even as far as priests go, beyond that. From there, I I went to um, I went to Howard Junior College for two years. I was on the livestock judging team there. That's mm. what took me there, and that's part of what took me there. Also, now seventh, eighth, ninth. Well, really seventh and eighth grade. I was really struggling in school and in life in general. Mm. Okay, I, I came off of Ritalin <laughs> <laughs> in the eighth grade, and I went from being a kid that had never made a B in my life. Mm. Um, always being towards the top of my class mm. to I was in that first six weeks, I was making C's mm, sure. of, of coming off Ritalin. And I also went from a kid that was very much at school an introvert. Okay. But when I was at home, I was not an introvert. Mm. Um, mm. But then when I came off the Ritalin at school, I was no longer an introvert. And r- relationships changed drastically. Mm. And I started getting in trouble. Boy, that escalated quickly. Okay. Uh, for the first time in school, um, in, in the in the eighth grade. Yeah. And so, eighth and ninth grade were a train wreck mm. for me, and really sure. tenth. Um, but in tenth grade is when things kind of started coming together a little bit. The wheels started getting put back on, <laughs> and, and um, you know, I started to realize like, what am I going to do with my life? Yeah. You know, what am I going to do with my life? And so by the time I was I was a senior, my my confidence in myself was pretty low, mm. uh, and I had also seen you know I had seen my brothers, um, you know, sh- struggle when they left home in in certain areas, and seen um, you know just the family dynamic was really difficult there when they when they left home, yeah. and, and there were certain things. Um, that I was able to learn from from I was able to learn from their from their struggles, and it's always nice to be able to learn from somebody else's mistakes. Yeah. But most of the time, right. we don't listen to it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, I, I think things. I was the oldest if, brother. If they're, so. if they're heavy enough, yeah. if it's yeah. big enough, yeah, you're you're forced to yeah. to, yeah. to, to listen to it. Yeah, I was and, the oldest brother, so I was the one that was making the mistakes. But yeah, know. and he's the youngest, so you're learning from yeah, them. you're learning right. from their mistakes. So yeah. with them, uh, yeah, <laughs> yes. So as I'm going 
through high school there towards because I, I I think I I made my mistakes uh, that people would typically make high school college more like eighth and ninth grade. Oh, oh okay, got yeah. it out of your system. Somewhat earlier, and age. fell on yeah. my face early, <laughs> and realized, oh wow, I went from being towards the top of the class yeah. to like, what in the world am I going to do with my life? What do you want to do then? I want to dance. Can I even get into a college? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. is what I was saying is at the end of my sophomore year. So junior, senior year, I really, really, really worked at turning things around, mm-hmm. and, Good big time. And so then by that point, um, you know, starting to try to figure out what to do. I, I wanted to. I didn't want to go to a big school first because I, I wanted to be sure that whatever I did, I was going to succeed and not sure. not throw a bunch of money away at college. Okay, good thing. And wanted That's to. Smart. I just yeah. I wanted it to, to get in, get a job, get out. Okay, focused. And, yeah, I was very focused yeah. by that point. I would say by that point, for a you know, eighteen year old, very mature yeah. and focused. Mm. So. Went to Howard Junior College. I mean, they paid me to go to school. Wow. You know, I, I That's had like good. I, I would. Yeah. I'd love. I've always been, you know, really tight too. So <laughs> I would love getting like this twelve hundred dollar check back from the university. Nice. You know, right. so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I- anyway, I, I that's why I went to Howard Junior College for for two years, okay. and was on the livestock judging team. Got to travel all over the country. Was with a great great group of, yeah. of people there. Great group of friends, and then from there. Uh, yeah, went to Texas Tech and graduated from Texas Tech. Okay. Um, with and you're a, going to Mass this, all these years in yes, college? Yes, yeah, so, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, so yeah. so that, that's one thing I was going to say about mm. priests. Mm. Each each step along the way, the two years in Big Spring, I, I, I don't remember the priest's name. I should. He was not in the diocese for a long time. He's mm. from the Northeast. Um, he was an Anglo guy, short guy there in Big Spring for a couple years. Uh, at least a couple years. He was there the whole time I was there. And, um, yeah, y- you know, it, it, not like the... He didn't have the Father David effect, mm-hmm. but his his priesthood and who he was was plenty. Okay. Mm. And he, he, was, he was a wonderful priest. Mm. Yeah. Um, and... Um, I kind of I kind of settled into that and and, and you know I, I got involved there I, I helped uh, I was a CCD assistant mm. teacher and even I went with their man in college I went yeah man. I went I went with their youth group to uh, to Steubenville that was the first cool. Steubenville I'd ever gone to cool. um, that was in Louisiana mm. and that was really powerful the thing that was most powerful for me there was the sacrament of confession uh. excellent uh. um. And let's see, and of course the Eucharist. I mean, yeah, uh, sure, uh, right, adoration, uh, but, yeah. right, yeah, certainly. I, and it was, I, it, it, it was, it, it was wonderful. But and that's the first time that I ever prayed the Rosary too. What? Oh, really? I was twenty years old. Wow. Oh, yeah, okay. I didn't know how to pray the Rosary. Okay. And this really nice uh, older Hispanic guy that was a uh, sponsor on the on that trip, he, you know. He saw me struggling, so yeah. he he showed me how to pray the rosary. Okay, and 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 um, right. So that's cool. That's kind of a cool story. And at, at that point, you know, priesthood was not. I say it wasn't on the radar. I yeah. I did. You know how they do the get up yes. thing yeah. at Steubenville. Yeah. I I did I did do that there at that okay. Steubenville. So that's your first but, time, kind of. Yeah, but making... then coming back, it's like totally terrified of that. You okay. know, sure. There's no way. I, uh, if, uh, no, not, right. that was I was just in the moment, the moment, you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was just excited. Uh, what was I right. thinking? You right, know? and but I, I was really on fire for the, for the faith, you know, from there, kind of moving forward. And, and I mean, it really it started there through in high school and just grew. Yeah, and so then going to college when I went to Texas Tech, um, there were lots of wonderful things there. Yeah, the uh, there was a priest there. His name was Father Jim O'Connor. Hmm. It's an Sounds older, yeah. older priest, diocese of Lubbock. Okay, uh, Irish priest, uh-huh. uh, just s- solid, gentle. Um, Wait a just second, w- wonderful huh? soul. That's not the guy not we the met, one in, met Rome. in Rome. Holy cow! Wait He's a second, Irish, <laughs> Irish priest. Um, he was in the diocese familiar? of Lubbock. Father Jim O'Connor. Wow. Okay, James. 
would be probably what it'd yeah. say on there. But um, yeah, and just the community there was wonderful. That was mm-hmm. one thing that, that I experienced there that I had not experienced before uh-huh. was a very vibrant Catholic community. Okay. Um, I say I hadn't experienced before. I experienced a wonderful Catholic community at, um, in Big Spring and, and in Fort Stockton, but just mm-hmm. in a different way. Sure. I think my age mm-hmm. um, really needed it. Going, that. going to Mass, walking into Mass, there being 800 people there nice. that are all college age yes. Sunday evening. Yeah. That, that was pretty powerful for me. It you up, yeah. And even the other thing that was really helpful there, there were a number of retreats and things which were good, but the thing that was most helpful to me was uh, there was a small faith group that I was a part of, okay. like seven or so other young men my age, mm-hmm. um, and then there were uh, the the I apologize. This you, is extremely rude that I'm going through there, but if this no, is the okay. same that'd guy, be awesome. that'd be this wonderful. is going to be I don't know anything crazy. about the person y'all went ran into. Um, nah, that's not Father. Jim. Oh that's man, I was like, it's the same guy. <laughs> that guy nah, knew, that's like, not Father everybody. Jim. I know we were okay. So <laughs> yeah, this is random. Yeah, and is Jim. I swear this is the guy's name yeah. is Father. Mm. It is Father, it's Father Jim. Father Jim is 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 bald and has glasses. Oh, okay, well no, this guy's not. And uh, but man, we ran yeah. into this guy at Rome, and just one time he saw our shirts. Multiple okay. times he ran into. Well, I mean, yeah, he yeah. saw our shirts one day. The, like, was the, he? He's an Irish priest. I thought, well. No, I think he's American now that I think about okay. it. Okay, well, uh, Father Jim was American, yeah, but yeah. from Ireland. Had a, yeah, had an, I, but he did Father not. Father Jim have... definitely had an I, has had. I, I, God rest his soul. If I don't know, yeah. I don't know if you're alive or not, yeah, Father yeah, Jim. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're with there us you one go. way or another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, it's Father Jim O'Neill. Father Jim O'Connor. It's close. He um, so close. But we yeah. ran into this guy ever. We ran into him one time. He had a very shirt. Okay, and he was like, "Oh, I love your shirts. I love your shirts." And then. We saw we ran into him like ten different times after that. I was like, what are you doing <laughs> here? Everywhere. And then, we, and then he knew everybody. Anyway, yeah. so, so, so just, when you said Jim O'Connor, I was yeah, like, yeah. so Father Jim, no way. Had a, Sorry, I had a, a very you know he definitely had an Irish accent. Yeah, and just very soft. Uh, and he was he was older in two thousand one. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, okay. No, this is not the same. Guy. I said two thousand one. Two thousand three. Two thousand one is when I graduated high school. So. Two thousand three is when I went to go to Texas. Three to Man. five, two thousand three. God to really five. is a Satan heaven right now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. So yeah, I apologize, so. but that would have been just too yeah, crazy if it was the same guy. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love that guy. It was fun. 